All right, I want to introduce to some and remind others of who I believe has become an exceptional, must listen to roots reggae artist, Meta Dia and his band, The Cornerstones. Meta is from Senegal, his band, The Cornerstones, include people from all over. I believe there is even somebody from um, French Guyana, a place we call Cayenne. Meta and The Cornerstones have released their third album, titled Hero, that I'll go over in this review. Now this album, I think it shows an artist who's now proclaiming his message of peace, love, you know, self-actualization, religious tolerance, all general themes in Roots reggae music, but he's doing so on his own terms. Like, now here is the third album, the previous two were, I think they were forward music and ancient power. I think of these two albums as someone going through stages of development. Forward music was, it was okay. It was really just boilerplate reggae music. The second album, Ancient Power, was, I think it was really good. But it felt like Meta was learning how to walk. You know, like he, he brought in the Jamaican heavyweights like um, Capleton, Damien Marley, Uroy. So you get a sense that this is somebody who's seeking validation from the mecca of roots reggae music, which is Jamaica. And often non-Jamaican reggae artists, they do that a lot on the albums. You know, they collaborate a lot with these Jamaican artists because this seems to give them some kind of validation that these guys are really, you know, roots reggae music artists. These guys are serious. So on this third album, Hero, we see an artist who is, you know, treading it alone now, on his own terms, on his own turf with no familiar voices from Jamaica. In fact, the only other voice that you'll hear other than Meta Dia is this Latin Grammy Award winning vocalist, Buika. Which says a lot. So Concha Buika on two of the songs. I really like these songs, by the way. So how's that for validation? This is a man who's standing on his own two feet right now as a roots reggae artist. And her voice, Buika, I think her voice creates something really special on this album. I really like the two songs. Beautiful. And I use that word a lot for that album. Just beautiful. The composition is just really beautiful. So many of the songs. In fact, I, I use that word, beautiful, to describe this album. Not just the song, do. But the entire album, I think, is just a beautiful compilation of songs. Well composed. This to me is one of the most beautiful Roots Reggae albums I've heard this year. In fact, probably in a few years. I really like the compositions and I really like the way that they've blended elements of jazz, Latin music, and the Senegalese folk, folk song. I think I heard that on one of the, the songs where they broke out at the end of one of the tracks into this, this kind of Afri Afrobeat Senegalese folk music. And man, They've done it masterfully. They've really done a really great job on this album. All while doing all of this, fusing all of these different elements, they've really kept solid the roots reggae elements, the core, so you could hear the drum and the bass just keeping solid the roots reggae feel. You never lose that this is a roots reggae album. Themes are just common themes that you see in, in Jamaican or in, in reggae music on a whole, which is love, peace, you know, justice, equal rights and justice, tolerance. But there's no overtly Rast, it's not an overtly Rastafarian album. You have very little mention of Silasia in this album. Which is why I think he has a much, he's, he's searching for a much broader audience, a much wider appeal. But you'll hear many of the, uh, of the songs speaking about, you know, sort of the beauty of Islam and a call for religious tolerance. So you don't hear much about Rastafarianism in this album. You hear lots of references to special places or special people in the Muslim faith. We know Hira is the cave, um, Tumas from Mecca, where in the, in the Islam traditions, that's where the Prophet Muhammad received his first revelation and that's where the Quran was received. Out 
at this state of mind. Alright, next track, the fig on olive tree. I like that intro. The old of And this song is really about finding your own peace of mind. Not just finding peace between religions, like the theme in many of his songs, but really as an individual, finding your own peace, which is really important. Next track, Mind Your Business. Mind your business, man. Check it. Don't mind me. Regardless, again with Boeka, listen to the Latin feel, fused in this and then rolling into a reggae beat, roots reggae.
wait, 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 wait. What does that remind you of? So that's a full album. Like I said, a powerful album. The compositions are really beautiful. I love Do. In fact, the entire album, I really like this album. And the message is powerful. The music is beautiful. The lyrics are poetic. You couldn't ask for more for a reggae album, for Roots reggae album. And I really like it that uh, Meta Dia, Meta and the Connaissance have climbed, they have grown. And I think this is an excellent, excellent album. Excellent album. You should get it, by the way. <laughs>